for our interactive read aloud today, March 24th, we are going to be rereading Starry Messenger. <clears throat> so we read this yesterday and we are going to read through it a second time. And um, I'm going to pay a little bit more attention to the sidebars where it talks about um, where it has his notes, but um, it is very small handwriting and very hard to read. So we'll only look at a few of those and take a look at the pictures while I read to you. So <clears throat> our vocabulary words from days one through 10 still stand and we still need to understand those words and be able to play um, a, um, put those into place whenever we are talking about the earth and the sun and day and night patterns and our seasons. But right now we're moving on into um, the scientists who study the stars and the sky. So we started yesterday with some new vocabulary words, universe, tradition, observe, observations, publish, and inspired. And today we're going to add to that the telescope. So we talked about that a little bit yesterday on our timeline that we created, but this is going to play a very heavy part in our task today. So make sure that you um, <clears throat> pay close attention to this telescope when we read about it in this story so that we can answer our task effectively. So Starry Messenger, Galileo Galilei. So this is by Peter Sis and this is not the best lighting, but I'm going to try to show you all of the pictures the best that I can. Starry Messenger, a book depicting the life of a famous scientist, mass mathematician, astronomer, philosopher, physicist. Galileo Galilei. So this picture up here is showing the Ptolemaic system that the earth stands still. For hundreds of years, most people thought the earth was the center of the universe and the sun and the moon and all the other planets revolved around it. They did not doubt or wonder if this was true. They just followed tradition. So this is the sun. You've got other things orbiting around the earth. So that is the Ptolemaic system where they thought the earth stood still and everything else traveled around the world, around earth. So down here, it shows you a few different people and when they were um, around. So this is Exodus, Aristotle, and then Ptolemy. And it says, God fixed the earth upon its foundation, not to be moved forever. Now, on this page, this is the Copernican system, which was the Earth does move, and that the Sun is the center, and the Earth moves around the Sun. So, this page starts by saying, Then one man looked at the sky and wondered, what if things are not as everybody believes them to be? Maybe the earth and the other planets move around the sun. He wrote down his observations, but he did not talk about them. And he did not publish them for a long, long time. He knew he could not prove they were true. It would take someone else to do that. So, what this is talking about on the first page, it's showing you these people. And then the last person that's listed here, Ptolemy, 
that's who came up with the Ptolemaic system. So that's who kind of started this thought process of the earth staying still and everything revolving around it. So then it shows you these other people. And again, the last one being Copernicus. And that is who came up with the Coperni uh Copernican system. He is the man that this page is talking about, the one who looked up and wondered, and he wrote down his observations, um, but he did not publish them. He knew it would take someone else to prove that this were true, that everything else was revolving around the sun. So that is when we learn about Galileo. So this is Italy. In those days, Italy was a country where many great artists, writers, musicians, and scholars lived. In the city of Pisa, a little boy was born with stars in his eyes. His parents named him Galileo. So up here it tells you Galileo. Galilei was born February 15th, 1564. What his father did and William Shakespeare was also born in 1564. Michelangelo died in that same year. Galileo thrived and he grew. In many ways, he was like any other healthy child, but he was more, cur more curious than most and stars were always on his mind. So you can see up there, the little boy drawing stars. And it says, until the age of 11, Galileo was taught at home by his father. Then he was sent to the Benediction, uh, Benedictine, Benediction uh, Monastery of Santa Maria, where he studied Latin, Greek, religion, and music. He studied mathematics and physics and turned out to be a very bright young man who entertained and amused people with his brilliant experiments and observations. Galileo is our star, the people would say. This is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And then you can see him down there with stars on his shirt among all the other people who look identical. He always stands out with the stars on his shirt. Then one day Galileo heard about a new instrument for seeing things far, far away. He figured out how it worked and made one for himself. Then he turned it to the sky. So, this reads, The report reached my ears that a certain Fleming had constructed a spyglass. Upon hearing the news, I set myself to thinking about the problem. Finally, uh, sparing neither labor nor expense, I succeeded in constructing for myself so excellent an, an instrument that objects seen by means of it appeared nearly 1,000 times larger and over 30 times closer than when regarded with our natural vision. The word telescope was coined two years later in 1611. So you can see pictures of the telescope. Maybe. Now 
Night after night, he gazed through his telescope and wrote down everything he observed. Then he published his observations in a book, which he called The Starry Messenger. So there's the excerpt from The Starry Messenger. Um, and it says, again, it's very hard to read. Revealing great, unusual, and remarkable spectacles, opening these to the consideration of every man, and especially of philosophers and astronomers, as observed by Galileo Galilei. Um, and then this picture, it is a beautiful thing and most gratifying to the sight to behold the body of the moon. The moon is not robed in a smooth and polished surface, but is in fact rough and uneven. I have, ob I have observed the Milky Way or sorry, I have observed the nature and material of the Milky Way. With the aid of the telescope, this has been scrutinized so directly and with such regular certainty that all the aspects which have vexed philosophers through so many ages have been resolved, and we are at least freed from wordy debates about it. The galaxy is, in fact, nothing but a... Um, conjurous of immeasurable stars grouped together in clusters. There are astronomical arguments derived from many things in our new celestial discoveries that plainly confute the Ptolemaic system which uh, admirably agreeing with and confirming the contrary hypothesis. So basically disagreeing with the Ptolemaic system. Um, there's another picture covered everywhere, just like the Earth's surface. So still talking about the moon. With huge something, deep valleys and chasms. Galileo was amazed by what he could see with his telescope. I liken the sunspots to clouds or smokes. I have no doubt wherever that they are real objects and not mere appearances of illusions of the eye or of the lenses of the telescope. People read Galileo's book and they became inspired. He made maps of the heavens and dedicated the four newly discovered stars of Jupiter to his patron and ruler, the Grand Duke of Tuscany, Cosimo II. Gifts of a telescope and a copy of Galileo's book were sent to all the kings and princes of Europe, and Galileo was named chief philosopher and mathematician to the Medi Medici court. Galileo's book was presented at the Frankfurt Book Fair and was later translated into many languages including Chinese. Soon Galileo was famous. More and more people celebrated the stars and they celebrated Galileo and his discoveries with statues and parades and spectacular events.
His fame grew and the celebrations became extravaganzas, but now the church began to worry. Galileo had become too popular. By upholding the idea that the earth was not the center of the universe, he had gone against the Bible and everything the ancient philosophers had taught. He had gone against the church. Galileo was ordered to stop believing what he could see with his own two eyes. He was summoned to appear before the highest ruler of the land, the Pope. I hold the sun to be situated motionless in the center of the revolution of the celestial orbs while the earth rotates on its axis and revolves around the sun. So that's what Galileo was telling the Pope that he has observed with his own two eyes. Galileo was afraid. He knew that people had suffered terrible torture and punishment for not following tradition. It could happen to him. And he wrote, I do not feel ob obliged to believe that the same God who has in doubt us with senses, reason, and intellect has intended to forego their use. He would not require us to deny sense and reason in physical matters which are set before our eyes and minds by direct experience or necessary demonstrations. He was tried in the Pope's court and everyone could see the stars had left his eyes. So he was very sad. Galileo was condemned to spend the rest of his life locked in his house under guard, but he still had stars on his mind, and no one could keep him from thinking about the wonders of the skies and the mysteries of the universe. And even when he went blind, no one could keep him from passing his ideas along to the others until the day he died, but still the ideas lived on. Finally, more than 300 years later, the leaders of the very church that had punished Galileo Galilei pardoned him and they admitted that he was probably, in fact, surely and absolutely right. So this is showing he was sentenced June of 1633 and then he died in 1642. So nine years later, he passed away. Then in 1989, Galileo's spacecraft launched, and in 1992, Galileo was pardoned. So that was our second read of Starry Messenger, and there will be a second video talking about the task and questions that your parents can ask you or you can answer um, during or after reading with me the Starry Messenger.